Welcome back to Mason Talks. So today we are going to be talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yesterday, the Cavaliers took on the Golden State Warriors in Oracle Arena and the Cavaliers, uh, they lost. The Cavaliers lost. The final score was Warriors 126, Cavaliers 91. This was a very, very bad game for the Cavaliers. This was definitely the worst game I've seen them play basically since last uh, January against the Warriors. The Warriors came out in this game like their lives depended on winning and the Cavaliers came out in this game like they just straight up didn't care. They didn't want to be there. The big storyline going into yesterday's game was are the Cavaliers and Warriors rivals? LeBron said no. Draymond said yes. You, yes, the Cavaliers and Warriors are rivals. I don't care what you think, LeBron. Well, I do care what you think, but you can say, oh, no, we're not rivals. But then also you had a Halloween party where you had cookies that said 3-1 and you had a tombstone that said rest in peace, Stephen Curry. Yes, you guys are rivals and you should try to beat your rivals. I don't, you know what? I don't care that they lost. I do care that they lost. I wanted them to win. But against your rivals... At least try to not get blown out by 30 points. At least come out and make it competitive. Stra the, Ca the Cavaliers were not trying in yesterday's game. Offensively, they weren't passing the ball at all. LeBron and Kyrie were running a ton of ISO. Uh, the most concerning stat of the entire game was the Cavaliers as a team had 11 assists and LeBron had two. When LeBron tries to take over a game like he tried to do yesterday, he's not at his best. When LeBron is at his best, it's when he's basically running point guard, passing the ball, getting others involved, and uh, he wasn't moving the ball yesterday. LeBron was running ISO, driving to the, he wasn't even really driving to the basket. It ba basically just, he was running ISO, taking bad shots, and uh, also Kyrie Irving was running ISO, and something's wrong with Kyrie. He absolutely has not been the same since his hamstring injury. He can't finish around the rim. He can't hit jumpers, and um, I'm concerned with Kyrie. Obviously, I think he's going to get better, but uh, just as of right now, Kyrie's not doing good. So offensively, it was obvious what was wrong. Cavaliers were not passing. Nobody could hit shots. Kevin Love still couldn't hit shots. He also didn't play in the second half because he had a back injury, I think. LeBron had 20 points, Kyrie had 17, and Iman Shumpert had 15. Defensively, the Cavaliers just straight up weren't even trying. They just weren't trying on defense. Multiple times in yesterday's game, the Cavaliers would leave someone open. Andre Iguodala was left wide open at the three-point line. Klay Thompson, one of the best three-point shooters in the league, was left open at the three-point line. Kevin Durant, Steph Curry was left open at the three-point line. I don't think it's that crazy to ask, hey, why don't you guard Steph Curry at the three-point line? Why don't you guard one of the league's greatest three-point shooters of all time at the three-point line? The Cavaliers defensively, they just had a lack of effort and they were just leaving people open and you can't leave the Golden State Warriors open because they'll make shots. One of the other things that happened in yesterday's game was LeBron basically got tackled in the open floor by Draymond Green. LeBron had the ball, he was on a fast break, he basically got clotheslined by Draymond. Uh, yes, LeBron did flop, but yes, it was a flagrant. I don't know why on TNT, Chris Webber and whoever else it was on TNT, I don't know why they were discussing whether or not it was a flagrant. Like, literally, Draymond just straight up ran into LeBron in the open floor. Yes, that was a flagrant foul. I don't know why people are surprised that Draymond Green, one of the dirtiest players in the NBA, committed a flagrant foul. I'll be honest, I wish LeBron kind of cared a little bit more that he got basically tackled by Draymond. I'm glad somebody on our team got up into Draymond's face. Richard Jefferson, you know, kind of called him out for it. The Cavaliers, they just didn't care yesterday. That was their biggest problem was that they didn't want to be there. And honestly, you can't really blame the Cavaliers for not really wanting to be there. It was their sixth road game in like 11 days or whatever. Um, but still, I would have just liked a better effort 
Just, I wanted the Cavaliers to care more than they did because I didn't want to get blown out on national TV by the Golden State Warriors. Honestly, I don't care that we lost. I just care that we got blown out. And I also care that LeBron is trying to say, oh, we're not rivals. I would have liked it more had LeBron just said, yes, we're rivals. This is a rivalry. And I would have liked it more if LeBron had cared post game that you just lost by about 30 points to your rival. I think it's going to be harder for the Cavaliers to beat the Warriors in the finals if the Cavs don't embrace the fact that they're rivals. The Warriors know that you guys are rivals. The Warriors cared yesterday and the Warriors won by 30 points. So I'm not worried about the fact they lost. I just think they need to care more. Next time we face the Warriors, if we face them again this season, uh, we will have JR. We might possibly have another point guard. Maybe we'll have another big man. Some people want, some people say the Cavaliers need another big. I still think the Cavaliers are going to win the finals. Last January, we got absolutely blown out by the Warriors in Cleveland. And um, we won the NBA finals. I still think we're going to win the finals that are six months away or whatever. Uh, let me know in the comments. Do you think the Cavaliers are going to win the finals? So yeah, not a good game for the Cavaliers at all. They lost by 30 to their rivals. No passing. Only 11 assists. Two from LeBron. That's very concerning. Kyrie Irving does not look right. He can't hit shots. He can't finish around the rim. Uh, yeah, that's not good. And we literally showed zero effort on defense. That was probably our biggest problem, is that we just didn't guard anybody. But yeah, so let me know in the comments, were you concerned by the results of yesterday's game? Thanks for watching Mason Talks. Make sure you subscribe to Mason Talks for more NFL, NBA, World Champion Cleveland Cavaliers, and also Cleveland Browns videos. Make sure you leave a like on this video, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.